Minister, you'll be aware that the North Wales Fire and Rescue Authority has been undertaking a review of emergency cover across North Wales and has undertaken a consultation on three options for change. Each of those options will see cuts and reductions in emergency cover at key locations across the region, including the downgrading of fire stations in Rill and Deeside, and two of the options propose the withdrawal of a crude fire engine in your own constituency of Wrexham. The Fire Brigades Union has described the proposals as, and I quote, three different ways to put the public at risk. Minister, as the Minister for North Wales, do you agree with them? Well, obviously, this is uh, a time of very tough choices for everybody, but I think this is a local and operational matter for North Wales Fire and Rescue uh, Association. And Welsh Government has no uh, cause to intervene. Currently, I know the Minister does keep a very close eye and meets with the uh, Chief Fire Officer uh, regularly, but obviously anything that uh, affects the way our emergency services are able to react is a cause of concern. Well, it's the Welsh Government that's ultimately responsible uh, for the fire service in North Wales, and we know, Minister, that the fire services in Rill and Deeside are currently staffed around the clock uh, for a reason. The station in Rill serves a very large population centre, much of which is deprived, and it's situated on part of the North Wales coast, which has the largest number of properties at risk of flooding. We know that Deeside serves a very large population in an area incorporating a large industrial belt, uh, where emergencies can be catastrophic for those working and living nearby. And in Wrexham, those three fire engines and crews are essential to the safety of the city, the largest population centre in North Wales. Last year, under the current emergency cover arrangements, the North Wales Fire and Rescue Service achieved an extraordinary milestone. It was the first year in which there were zero fire-related deaths. Now, that, to me, suggests that the current model is working very well. So do you agree with me that reallocating and cutting resources in the way that the Fire Authority proposes will put that record and lives at risk? Well, as I said, this is a you know, local and operational matter for North Wales Fire and Rescue uh, Authority. You know, it's up to them to reach a solution which is sustainable, affordable. Uh, it has to be fair to their workforce. It has to be fair to the communities of North Wales. And I do uh, recognise that what is being proposed could be causing some concern uh, to those communities. But I think the Deputy Minister of Social Partnership has certainly urged uh, the Fire and Rescue Authority to seek a solution which is sustainable and affordable and, as I say, fair to not only its workforce but to the people of North Wales. Look, I accept that operational responsibility lies with the North Wales Fire Authority, but you are the Welsh Government. You set the guidance, you set the guidelines for this organisation to function. You also are responsible for making sure that stakeholders, like unions, are listened to across the public sector. So I find it, frankly, astonishing that there doesn't seem to be more effort being made by the Welsh Government to make sure that the Fire Brigades Union, in particular, has been listened to. They tell us, as local members uh, of the Senate in North Wales, that there was no engagement with the union as a key stakeholder in the development of the proposals which have been out for public consultation prior to them being uh, published. Now, that is clearly unacceptable. All professional firefighters want people to be safe. They all want improved emergency fire cover across the whole uh, of North Wales. And the FBU, as you will be aware as a North Wales member, have developed two alternative proposals, both of which will achieve that additional emergency cover whilst maintaining the 24-7 staffing arrangements in Rill and Deeside and maintaining the fire uh, engine and crew uh, in Wrexham that was due to be uh, axed. Will you join me in urging the North Wales Fire and Rescue Authority to consider seriously the Fire Brigade Union's reasonable proposals? And will you work with your colleague, the Minister for Social uh, Partnership, to make sure that new guidance is issued to our fire and rescue uh, authorities in Wales, to make sure that there is engagement with the Fire Brigades Union and, indeed, other key stakeholders prior to any plans coming forward for public consultation. That hasn't happened in this case, and it should have done. Well, speaking with my MS hat on, I think that engagement is absolutely uh, taking place. As I said, the uh, Deputy Minister of Social Partnership, who is in her uh, seat and will have heard uh, your comments, is keeping a very close eye on this. But it's, it is absolutely a matter for 
the North Wales Fire and Rescue uh, Authority. It's absolutely vital that they do engage. And my understanding is that they are engaging and that they are listening. But it does now need to operate within the limits it sets itself. And the Deputy Minister, I know, will be meeting regularly with the North Wales Fire uh, Chief.